Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to another video. Now, before we start, uh, I don't know if I didn't record, like if I forgot to record or if the videos were corrupted. I recorded this a few weeks back and there might be some missing uh, steps here and there. It's just when we get to the motor, it's front mounted. Uh, so you just have four little nuts on the, after you take the blade off, you have four nuts that you remove with a 11 32nd. And that's where the hollow nut drivers come in handy. 11 32nd, or I think this one was 3 8 It's the same to put it back. You put the nuts back in, uh, you mount it, and then you put your blade on. And then when we get to the evaporator, which I probably put in the thumbnail, I cleaned it with some uh, coil spray, the Viper coil cleaner. And it worked really good. I had to do it, you know, several times. And I think I only show when I'm like, trying to adjust the fins and trying to clean it too. So those were just missing uh, from the footage, but this is a call that they said they've known for years that they have a bad evaporator coil or evaporator and they just never changed it out. I guess another company recommended it. As soon as I saw it, I recommended it too. And you know, I was just trying to do them a solid, get them by, get it uh, cooling for them because it's their only walk-in. This is a walk-in cooler. So that's the fan that they were complaining about. That's why they called this in. Uh, I have universal ones in the van, so we'll just swap it out. Can you guys see that? Oh my God. I'm going to be here trying to clean this up too, I guess. The cool thing is I'm working next to like a comic shop. And now these cool windows out here. Spider-Man, Venom. They got like Darth Vader over here. Power Rangers even. Some cool stuff. I really love using this uh, light in the walk-ins. It's the Morph by Police Security. And this little front comes off like a magnet. Pretty dope.
Should be easy to connect to up here. Okay, I was gonna use this universal one, but then I remembered I had a bunch of these 115 volt motors from some evaporator swaps that we did and they had gave us the wrong voltage and I had to convert them to 208. It was a whole thing. But the motors are new and I saved them. Oh boy, now to work on this uh, mess back here. Damn, it's pretty bad and I think it's been like this for a long, long time. Well, that's the best it's going to get today. Uh, a lot better than what it was before, but it still looks horrible. Still very dirty, but I'm just trying to get it to cool and they do want to get a new one already. Oh, and check out their door too. Just issue after issue don't close so they called me originally just because they noticed the fan wasn't working but i did go check everything or as much as i could i wasn't looking for refrigerant leaks or charge or anything like that because they were saying that it was working up until the fan gave out but most of the time you just want to do like a quick glance of what you're working on Make sure you don't get callbacks or any other issues with this one. Like I said, I recommended it and they were finally going to look into it. And they did want a new evaporator after all. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys next time.